so if like you pull a flag, that's where you're down. But I know, but doesn't that mean that? So that means he got, he grabbed the ball from you, isn't it? You're supposed to, aren't you supposed to steal the ball away from people? I mean, ideally, yeah. So but, the flag calls you go. Oops, the ball's dropped. No, you don't have to drop. <laughs> <laughs> Take the ball for me. No. You win. Uh, Calling all the basic bitches. <laughs> Calling all the basic bitches. We ready? All right, everyone. Welcome to Out and About. It is Tuesday. It is the heat of the summer. Joey and I are back from Charleston. You spent about four weeks down there. I was down there. I left the next day. I heard you had quite the night. Yeah, I did. Um, my family lives there, so I had to, sp- I had to spend time with them. Because oh, that's I'm, lovely. I'm working the rest of the summer, so I'm not going to be able to see them. Um, but yeah, I just, I, um, Charleston's fine. What'd you think about it? I loved it personally. I wish like I've all, I've, we do all these cities and I'm like, I need to spend extra time in the cities and I never do. Charleston is a city where I should have hung around. Right. Cause I wanted to come back and I wanted to go to the Celtics parade, but then I, I like was too tired because I flew in, I landed at four and then it's like, what? I get on a motorcycle at six in the morning, drive all the way back to Massachusetts to go on the thing. That's too much. So I watched the parade from home, but Charleston itself. Was it televised? Oh Yeah. On WCVB TV, Channel 5. Did you have to go to Boston to watch it? No, I watched on YouTube, straight from home. Oh, so it was live yeah, streamed. it was unbelievable. Well, Shout I already out to did Celtics. that. I already did a parade like that on that duck boat, and I never want to do that again. Yeah, we did the, uh, what was it? I'm sure it's the same exact thing. No, it's except not. Except Celtics Don't, flavored. Not even close. Well, How? It's not the same thing. It's duck boats going down the same street. No, it's drunk not. people screaming. Literally untrue. Celtics parade? Celtics <laughs> championship parade versus selfie day parade? It's a, par- a Boston parade on a duck boat. No, it's not. What's the difference between that parade and this? One is an NBA champion. I know what the difference is that the celebration is. One has 1.5 million people. The other has like 100,000 drunk 24-year-olds. One is in February celebrating literally nothing. The other is in, or no, in March. The other is an NBA championship. I understand they're the two different things. I'm just saying as far as. You say because they have duck boats, they're the same. Well, it's a, it's a parade in the same town with a duck boat. It's, a, it's a dr- screaming drunk people. You're on the boat, <laughs> and it's going down the same thing. I understand they're celebrating different things, but it's essentially the same thing that we did, okay. but bigger on a bigger scale. Okay, and, and yes, Celt- and, I will and, accept that. And Celtics flavored. I will accept that. You did? Did you? It was. Did you see the photos of like Dave and Gaz and them on the thing? They were on. They I were on a fucking any, duck boat. Hank? Oh, I saw Dave. He had something on his neck. Oh yeah, sh- that's scary. He had cancer taken out of his neck. I did too. What are you talking about? I had it in here. Years ago. Oh. Want to show the camera? It's very common. Yeah. Um, yeah, I had a mole, and I had to have, they, they, they said that the dermatologist said, you know, this looks, uh, whatever, let's take a little sample of it and put it to the lab, and they came back, and it had cancer in it, so they had to, like, dig even deeper in there and cut it all out, and then sew you back up to get it out of there. Jesus. When was this? A few years ago, but that happened, it's very common. Yeah, you got to put on, do you wear sunscreen? You don't tan, do you? I feel like you're I very self tanner for an for a, a Italian guy. You're very like. Pale. I'm not really Italian. I'm just from New Jersey. So everyone thinks I'm Italian. Everyone from New Jersey Italian. I don't know. I think the people from New Jersey are disgusting. What do you think of Hank's? Can you scroll down to Hank's photo? Hank had to shave his head. He told the coach Joe Mazzula if they won, he would shave his head bald when he was on part of my take. What are we thinking of this? He looks like the guy from um, the, the 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 band leader from the Tonight Show. He. T- he looks like Paul Schaefer. Paul Schaefer. Remember Paul Schaefer on Letterman? Wow, that's actually shocking. What a callback. I didn't even think that was a thing. Oh, and they got to hold a little trophy. How cute. They got to, this. That's what he looks like. That's actually shockingly similar. Should I get a leather blazer? Hank Schaefer. Good Lord. Yeah, so it's fun. Um, it was so fucking hot though. I like didn't want to do anything this weekend. I mean, well, they had a good. They degrees. had a good week. Those guys because they were um, Hank and Gaz and Dave. They all went hung out with Dave Brady the other day, and now they're hanging out with the Green Team. That's correct. The same month, a lot of action, a lot of high high profile um, sports action. Yes, Dave Brady and then the Green Team. They hang out with both. Yeah, no, now was, they're double uh, they're, they're double agents. Is your it's Penis just too hot right now? to do anything. Like that's that, the thing. Yeah, I don't that leave the house. If it wasn't three thousand degrees, I would have went up to Boston. But it was like even this weekend, it was like you just fucking lay around. Well, there's a the heat, heat advisory for elderly people. I'm not allowed to leave the house. Your AC is working. I would love to see what your AC bill bill is this month. I don't even know. I keep it on. I keep it running. I keep, keep it, all keep three it of run, them running. <laughs> keep it running hot. Well, I have to stay. I have to stay cool. My candles will melt. Did you do anything? Your candles will melt. I got home on Saturday. Yes. What's your flight? 
My flight was at 11 a.m. Okay. Not bad. I got home at around 1. Yep. And I slept until Sunday night when um, <laughs> my friend came over. And then that was last night was Sunday night. Yeah. You suffered. Oh, so you slept for 36 hours. Yeah, but I woke up at like 8 o'clock because he was about to arrive around 9. P.M. And I had to make dinner and do all the things and clean up and act like I wasn't, take a shower, act like I wasn't being um, getting bed sores all, all weekend. <laughs> and then, you know, I made... um. A grain bowl, and here I am. And here you are, <laughs> fresh no, as a daisy. No, it's not a grain bowl. I, it's, it's a new dinner. It's a new um, staple I've been cooking every week. I like how that was what you retracted, not the fact that you got bed sores and slept for 36 hours. It was the fact that you had a grain bowl. I needed to rest. I needed to regain my strength. And I also, you know when I have to be when I have to be in front of people and perform, I need to decompress and be in a hiding. Alone. In, a, in a hole to get a witch, like to counteract all the, all like the fucking energy the I put out. Yeah. Talking to people. I'm the same way. The heat was a nice excuse to not like do anything. I got up Saturday morning. I was like, I need to fucking drive this fucking motorcycle. So I did that super early, came home. You had to, because you had to get it home. No, I was like, I need to like use it. I like haven't used it. What do you mean? You drive it all the time. Not really. Because I was going to go home. So I was like, I need to use it. So I went up to Harriman State Park, did a little zip around 630 in the morning, came back, went to the gym. It feels so good just to have a healthy like weekend, to have no booze and just... Drinking is out. Then why are you so rashy and bloated? Okay. Um, that motorcycle, are you, how much does it cost? Like, say, because if I had that, I'd be all excited to drive it to the place like wherever I'm going. But the then I would want, it was too hot to I drive. know, but I wouldn't want to drive it back. How would I, <laughs> as a person who likes to throw money at problems, how would I get my bike back to my house without me having to ride it home? You'd ship it. You'd ship it or you can just... What like, house? It doesn't matter what house, but I'm saying, like, if I don't want to drive my bike all the way back... Oh, yeah, you just put on, like, a tractor trailer. But how do you, how do you book that? You just call. I just I like Googled it. I'm not gonna do it, but you can like have a some redneck throw it on a trailer and you bring it back. But that's not what you like do. You'd have, you'd want to drive it, my dear. Well, I'm saying if I because I I would you know I would be on. We're going on a ride. Mm -mm. Me and imagine that a you go, driving Imagine it? a GoPro with me and Joey on a motorcycle. Even if we just went down Seventh Avenue, you want to talk about a viral TikTok? That's what like people want. Down 7th Avenue to the right, you would do a quick one with me. You don't have a helmet for me. You can wear my helmet. What are you going to wear? I won't wear one. I'll go down the street. That Imagine a GoPro. I thought about that. Nan and Trish take this. A tour. Oh, that would be funny. If we did a, you on the back with the helmet. You get a little mic. I'm Is driving around and we do it. Not really. And we do a tour of the city. Nan and Trish's motorcycle tour. You can point things out. There's 18th Street where I used to turn tricks. Here's the eagle. There's the the, the the This is the first time Trish had a near heart attack. gave a hand job to that um, guy from Mexico City. <laughs> and he has, still has it on his phone today. No, you don't. I think it's I mean, my hard drive. It was probably on like one of those, those discs or something. It's, a, it's on a three and a half inch floppy disc? Mm -hmm. I think maybe that's the move. Maybe that's a, maybe that's the next thing we do. How about I drive it? You can drive it. I'll be on the bed. Or you can face me like bound to. Kim K. You know what? Let's get that in the books. Can I we come? Like, can like we get a hard idea. commit to a motorcycle tour? Pat and Joey, we can rig it up with a bunch of cameras. Go around the city. Many, many people have said they'd want to see that. Many people. Um, can I get a little sidecar? You'd have to ride on the back. Are okay. we both going to fit on it? Yes, you're tiny. I'm tiny. It's a big hog. You fit on bigger. What's the speed limit on 7th Avenue? We'll go slow. We'll go 80, 90. No, I can't do that. <laughs> no, we'd go slow. I can't risk my health. <laughs> yeah, I know. You take care of your health so much. I know your health is paramount to you. Well, that's why I have this outfit on. So I had 8 a.m. Uh, 8 a.m. berries. You did a what? I did 8 a.m. 8 a.m. berries. I thought you said eight a many berries. What was that like? You did not do a berries boot camp. That's why I'm dressed like this. How was it? What'd you, what'd you hit? What do you mean you hit everything? It's berries. No, what day was it? What do you mean what day? Legs, legs and... Core. It was back and buys, chest and tries. It was buys and tries. Buys and tries. Damn, a push and a pull in one week. Have you heard of that before, Vinny? Yeah, you could do that. Damn. Good for you. Where was the berries? In a nice neighborhood tomorrow. So you don't want to disclose the location. I don't want to disclose which one I'll go to because I don't want to um I don't want the fans coming there. Facts, facts, facts. Um but yeah, I'll consider going on the motorcycle ride. Okay. I think a sidecar could be could be funny. I can't he doesn't buy have a one fucking of sidecar. You could rent one, maybe. No, you can't. No? Because you got to rent it. You got to bolt it to the fucking frame. Uh, okay, that would be funny though. I think just and then you get a little. We could talk to Jake Bass. <laughs> could, <laughs> ladies, sound off in the comments if you want a Nan and Trish motorcycle tour in New York City. You could wear something. You could wear some chaps. Think about the slutty biker outfits you could get. It's too hot to do that. You go topless. 
No. Oh, imagine us. He's leaning up against me, skin to skin. Peel it off. Ugh. No, it's too hot. Are you um, performing at the Pride Parade this year? I don't think I'm going to be here for New York City Pride. Me either. Are you texting? No, it's my manager. Oh. Vinny? Um, no. I don't think I'm going to be here for Pride. Pride is coming up on the 29th. It's going to be about 3,000 degrees. It's nice to have a year off, I think. Last year was like too crazy. It's crazy. It's, 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 it's 10 years exactly, and it's, a, it's on a Saturday. It's on a Sunday again, the 29th. 10 years to what? The, the de- my mother's death. Oh, God. It'll be this, this, it'll be this Sunday. I'm sorry um, to hear that. Thank you. That's got to be tough. Saturday, I have a show. Where? I'm sorry, so Friday, I have a show at Ben Sale and PA Parks Casino. Um, it's happening. And then the next day is uh, Judgment Day. It was Judgment Day. Where I meet day. my mother. Oh, <laughs> Judgment Day. The next day is over it. Um, you have a little something going on in your mouth. What is happening with your mouth? What do you mean? What's wrong with your teeth? Or was that not? Oh, uh, nothing. It's just I had, I started you going. You canines pulled? No. I have my dentist. You I have um, to go to the vet. I started going week. to that zesty dentist. Um, it's like, you know, very, it's very bougie in there. And they get to like pick your own fragrance, pick your own flavor. And they like watch TV and there's like headphones. And it's like all like designer, like all fancy. And um, yeah, I just have to have my routine things. I have to do fillings and some extractions. Why are you taking teeth out? Which teeth? No, something about, like my They're just wisdom. ripping your teeth out? That doesn't make you worried at all? It's a wisdom tooth. You're getting your wisdom teeth out? Yeah. I don't think that's... Is this bo- like I never had my wisdom yeah, teeth let's out. Let's like be like, dr- are you actually getting your wisdom teeth out at yeah. age 47? Yeah. So then you're not in at all Wednesday. What do you mean? Wisdom teeth is like a big thing. It should be fine. Oh, all right. Are they impacted? No. I don't believe that you're getting teeth taken out. Okay. I want to see my appointment. That's like, I would be nervous about that. Why? It's Getting a, teeth pulled? What do you think, sleep. Vinny? Vinny's got something to say, but he doesn't want to <laughs> say it. <laughs> no. I've, uh, when I did my wisdom teeth, I was fine. But I, I, really? needed, I needed like, I just chilled for a couple days, but, but I was okay. I'm like, I feel like you're not, like this is a bigger deal than you're making it to be. Well, I don't know. It, I'll see when I get there. I know people who've had nightmare yeah. like, outcomes, like where they don't recover I feel like well, you should or... be ner- I told you. It's, that, that doesn't say anything. That says you're going there. That doesn't say you're getting your wisdom teeth out. I would be nervous getting my fucking. But Doctor Gloria, Doctor Who, Gloria, you're going to a uh, lady doctor. Yeah, you requested her. I didn't request anyone. They said they. I was. It was government issued. <laughs> it's the Obamacare. But it's an Asian. It's an. It's an Asian woman and an Indian woman. So I feel very, very good hands. Would you rather? Yes. Would you rather have an Asian doctor or an Indian doctor? Both. I mean, I, I would say Asian for dentistry. Maybe yeah. um inter- internal. Maybe Indian. If I had to, I just the feel like that. I just, I just feel like that's. What I'm comfortable with, with my my birth plan is <laughs> <laughs> your birth plan. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm so just having some routine dental work done. I'm um, nothing nothing major. I just need to get I just need to sh- off shift my my dental records to, for the government. <laughs> <laughs> So my skull comes missing. <laughs> we get gentle. Imagine you come back. You got, a, you got all your teeth pulled like Gypsy Marie. <laughs> and then it comes back and just gumming it. <laughs> you could have dentures. What? You could have dentures. I would love nothing more than for you to come back with a fresh set of veneers. They don't do that there, I don't think. Get your incisors pulled? Maybe. I don't a know. I, but, you know. It's just you know routine work. Just keep it. It's a lot of work to keep this thing running. <laughs> it's a lot of maintenance. A lot, a lot of, of chemicals. A lot of chemicals. A lot of upkeep. Um, what else did I want to tell you? Um, now she will shut down. No, I'm, I'm trying. Nana, I, Nana, I, Nana's, I, Nana's, Nana's brain will power down. No, I'll remember around the time. 11 a.m. hour. I'll remember. I'll remember. I'll remember you remember. Later. Um, speaking of pride. There is um, Buffalo Bills announced that they're sponsoring a gay football, f- a gay flag football team. Buffalo Bills, a gay flag football team. Okay, yeah. So they're going to support the National Gay Flag Football League. I didn't even know this was a thing. It's an organization that seeks to promote positive social and athletic enjoyment of American flag football. We're thrilled to bring inclusive football to Buffalo with the support. Here's the thing: what, is it th- gay or not? Should adults be playing flag football? But why is it? Why are they making the gays play flag? Why can't they play regular football? If anyone wants to t- tackle and touch another man, it's gay. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, why uh, we're not capable of playing real football? We have to play with flags. And are the flags rainbow colored? Valid, cons- <laughs> valid concern. Valid concern. 
I want Josh Allen to tackle my uh, tight end. Okay. Uh, and, the new, and the new guy that's going, <laughs> that fat booty fucking gymnast is going to be there too. Who's this? Fat booty Gable gym. Stevenson's going to work there too. Say his name again. Gable Stevenson. Gable Stevenson. Yeah. Damn. He's got a fat ass. Oh, he was a wrestler in the Olympics, but now and now, and, but he's like, oh wow. Yeah. Oh, that's like he's like the Incredible Fucking Hulk. Yeah. The commissioner's name is Joel Horton. He said, we're thrilled to be an inclusive flat football to Buffalo with the support of the Buffalo Bills. This exciting addition joins 27 other cities, including straight allies. I would be bullshit if a straight person showed up at a gay flag football league. <laughs> you're gay. Also, if you're straight showing up to gay flag football, you're gay. Um, Doesn't it go without saying? I don't know the difference. I mean, I wouldn't want to play flag. I mean, that seems more. more. I don't know what the difference is. You just grab the flag. That means that, that equals a tackle if you yes. grab the flag from them. Yeah. But the ball. So you just drop the ball. It, that's that's like where you're, so if like you pull a flag, that's where you're down. But I know, but doesn't that mean that? So that means he go, he grabbed the ball from you, isn't it? You're supposed to, aren't you supposed to steal the ball away from people? I mean, ideally, yeah. So but, the flag calls you go. Oops, the ball's dropped. No, you don't have to drop. <laughs> <laughs> Take the ball for me. No. You win. Like, is that how it goes? I mean, maybe. I don't maybe, think. Maybe in the gay league. I'm sure in some leagues, maybe. Yeah, but no, you don't drop the ball. It means you just stop in your place. You do and the that's next it. play. The next what play posi- starts from What there. position would you play? I'd be quarterback, I feel like. I'd be the alpha. I'd be the king of queens. To throw the farthest? No, no. just like on the field. What football would you play? Would you be a tight end? Would you be a D end? Would you be a corner? Would you be a, a quarterback? A cornerback? A safety? Would you, want a linebacker? To ta- would you want to tackle guys? Would you want to catch the ball? Like, what would you want to do? I wouldn't do? want to catch. I wouldn't want to do anything. But Imagine I would, if I had lined up in a four point stance, <laughs> just take some <laughs> head nose, off on the line. No, nose guard. <laughs> yeah, pick some up by the pad so the ref can't see. Oh, it seems very strenuous. I mean, I don't think I'd want to do any of it, but I guess I'd be like, because the sheer, sheer mass of me, I, I would be able to, to block, prevent people from walking past me. Oh, she wouldn't be an offensive lineman. That is the most beautiful way anyone has ever described being a lineman. <laughs> the uh, the the mass of me, I'd, be, I'd prevent them from walking by. You go, excuse yeah. me, sir. May you please stop for just a moment? I have a gar- I have, a, I have a, a velvet rope on the on the, on the field. <laughs> excuse me, name him. <laughs> Whose list are you on, Mama? <laughs> <laughs> you do the thing where you're voguing down yeah. a thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, I don't think I could last a full game. I think I could. I just don't know how competitive they are. Like, are these? I played in a gay basketball league in New York City, believe it or not, and I had to quit because they, it wasn't competitive. And is, is Buffalo like? Does every NFL team have to sponsor the gay uh, gay things for it all to happen, or is this Buffalo just sponsoring one team? Just Buffalo is sponsoring one team. Their teams are all over. Like I've seen shit on Instagram of people like playing, like Gotham Knights, like the, the yeah like the New York chapter, yeah. the New York the New York chapter. <laughs> The gay basketball league was fun, but I remember being like, why is everyone so nice to each other after the game? People were like slapping high five. I'm like, no, I want to kill you after the game if we don't lose. Okay. And she's an were, alpha. Were there, were there people that were really good in the league? There was one guy who was like the best and he was straight. He was a half Asian man. Do you he was think about he should have been able five. to play? That pissed me off when he played. I know that. No, I don't know if he sh- straight should be able well, who to pissed play. You off? Cause he, he pissed you off because he was straight or Asian? Uh <laughs> And good. The trifecta. Straight, Asian, and good. All three. <laughs> That's going to be my dental hygienist tomorrow. I wonder what the locker rooms are going to be like. I'm assuming. Showering? Is there showering? But also, you don't want to shower if it's like showering with a bunch of like gay men that takes like the excitement out of it. You want to like shower with like the straight guys. But I, you know, the, the gays that are playing this are not the ones you're going to want. The ones I want the closet cases, not the ones that yes. are out and proud. Like These are going to be like, like you know, Fruit yeah. Loops. Yeah, no. We want like a closeted... Yes. A closeted hottie. Yeah, with a... With a Who with might a, shoot you with a, a glance G- in the that shower. That says, um, on his profile, it says, um, follower of Christ. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We want a follower of Christ. I wonder what the age is. Should we start a gay flag football team with Billy no, Football? I don't have time for that. I'm, I'm booked and busy, Mama. You are booked and busy. I don't know. We'll see. They do it, and I think the Patriots did this a couple of years ago in Massachusetts. They, like, sponsored one. I just don't like the idea of getting up early on a Saturday to go run around and play gym class. Like, sport. like by all means, like, great thing. Buffalo, good on you. You sponsored it. But, like, as an adult, it seems like a bit much for me. Yeah. Thanks, Joel Horton, for nothing. Thanks for nothing. Thanks for nothing. Selling a little cha-ching or a lot? Shopify helps you do your thing however you cha-ching. Shopify is a global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launch your online shop stage, the first real life in-store stage, all the way to did we just hit a million order stage? Shopify is there to help you grow. Whether you're selling scented soap or offering outdoor outfits, Shopify helps you sell 
everywhere from their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system, wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify has got you covered. Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout, 36% better on average compared to other leading commerce platforms. Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the U.S. and Shopify's global force behind Allbirds, Rothy's, Brooklyn, and millions of other entrepreneurial sites across 175 countries. So sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash out and about all lowercase go to shopify.com slash out and about now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in shopify.com slash out and about what else do we have we have your girl taylor swift i love is her. back in the news now you love her i'm like kidding what is she in the news for her her never-ending concert yeah her never also end the tour taylor swift it's enough uh travis kelsey carried her out on stage i guess and people went bananas over it it just seems like a bit much to me to tell you the complete truth I don't know. The whole thing is. I like think the same enough. thing too. Like I understand. Like the parents have to. Like they all have to be there. But like, aren't they sick of that bitch already? And sick of the concert yeah. already? Like the mother goes to like every. I, I I understand supporting your daughter and how what an amazing feat this oh, is. Her and actual it. mother goes. Yeah, the mother. And, and the mother. She she walks out and the the father's giving out like our guitar picks to the fans. It's like yeah, I would be payroll. so over it. like after year three, I would be so fucking over it. Like every fucking night going to a different the show, it's like. Also, Exhausting. stop touring. You've been touring for five years. You're a billion. It's over. Like you did. No, it. she left. But she's she's not gonna let the fans down. Now, how long do you think after this tour, like she doesn't have to work? She would never have to work again. Okay. You think she'll? But she puts out albums like every week. But it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like Drake too. Like people say, like they're superstars, but then they perform more than most other artists. So it seems like it's something in their contract. They probably are like obligated to perform. Doesn't she much. own her masters? Like didn't she buy her masters back? I'm or not something sure. I'm Scooter I'm Braun. Never, who yeah, retired? this isn't about about record sales. This is about t uh, concerts. It's sales. about ego. Food, the guy from the Foo Fighters, Dave Grohl, called her out, said she doesn't sing live at her concerts, which I'm fine with. I don't know why that's a thing. And he changed the name of his concert to the Errors Tour because they make errors in their He's just trying show. to get um, some some clout um, to like to feel good about himself. I, I mean, uh, she's a, there's a difference between singing. I mean, a lot of – no one does, does a big stage show like that is going to be singing 24 mm. hours of the time. It's going to be – it's you know, you have to – she's got to take breaks to like, you know – do whatever so I think majority of parts she probably sings what'd you say he killed Kurt that's what you're saying out before the show he killed Kurt Cobain. well my friend Courtney told me Courtney Love have you ever met Courtney yes yeah, it's in her makeup you're responsible you are the one responsible for Courtney no, Love I, I always do I did it one time yeah that's wild um she yeah she, it's, it's, it's widely known that she thinks that and then he tries to see he stole all the money from her and her and um Kurt, uh, Kurt's mother. I don't know the whole story about it. There's drama. Google it. I'm sure there is. Do your own research. Yeah. yeah. Do your own research. <laughs> That's wild. I don't think I'd want to go to... I have been trying to go to like more concerts. I went to one Tyler Childers concert like a month ago and it was great. And I don't know why I just don't go to more concerts all the time. Because of shootings. I guess. Yeah. I don't go to concerts. I have a new I, a new artist that I'm, I saw on the Jimmy Kimmel show or one of those talk shows and I never see, saw her before. But apparently she's the new hot thing the new pop star that's gonna be sweeping the nation the oh. new like prince of pop, princess of pop that's gonna be the next madonna or the next lady gaga or the next britney spears do you remember her name her name's um vanji <laughs> miss vanji no her name is um because <laughs> of shooting cornell roan or um cornbread roan oh yeah yeah why are you saying it like that you don't like cornell no she's fabulous she's her, her music is really really good her name is um R O A N. Chapel Roan. R O A N. Um, her songs are very good, and she's very she's very eclectic. She's all different Ooh. looks all the time. So that's giving eighties, big time eighties. Yes, yeah, she has um she has all different looks all the time, but she's very good. She's one to watch, and I'm calling it now. She's going to be <laughs> the next big thing. You think? I know so. Look at that outfit. That's not. Did you see her outfit? This is a, a white swan outfit. Oh, she's in. She's doing drag. But the music is good. It's like eighties, like. Bob. And everyone's saying that she's copying Lady Gaga because she has a look similar to her. And this thing. She, this is the first time she's ever wore blonde hair. It's like not. She's not like copying Lady Gaga. It's just one look that goes with the outfit. Gays are gonna eat her alive. They already have been. What an icon. She's a legend. Already. I mean, a, a, a legend in the making. I feel like she's been at it for 10 years. She's been doing, putting the damn thing down, down, down. But, you know, she finally got her time. It's her time to shine. And it, we're just, it's, it's, uh, Gays what's your first name her. again? 
Chapel Ronin's sure, Chapel Ronin's world, and we're just living in it. I'm calling it now. Trend alert. Trend alert. Yeah, you called the Justin Bieber thing too. I know you did that. I know everything. I'm a medium. I'm a psychic medium. Gays are gonna eat her up because she has the costume. She has the vibe. The pageantry. She has the pa yeah. What is what what creates a magnet? Pageantry. Cute. Charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. Okay. <laughs> you know what that stands for, Vinny? Yes. <laughs> what else is there? There's pageantry. Showmanship. Showmanship. Costumentry. Cost costumetry. Herography. <laughs> Herography. Nailography. Face. Serving. Serving face. Um, Attitude. And you could just, I, mean, I don't need to know about she, like her pronouns or whatever. She, she obviously eats pussy and sucks dick. So, you know, she's like, <laughs> she's, she does it all. So I don't think, I don't think, I don't know that, but I'm, I would That's be fine. shocked if she said that she was, if she was like not bisexual. No, she you knows she's like, she's like, po what's Polly? Or what's, no, she's Pan. Yeah. I'm she's, she's fucks everything. Imagine I died. <laughs> <laughs> do we just have a do we just have a Mitch McConnell moment on the sh on the show? I look over, he's like, if I ever do have if he I goes ever, full Mitch. If I ever do have a life changing um episode, I, I hope, I I hope it's that, on camera. I am pulling that plug. Me too. I am pulling that plug so fucking fast. <laughs> Before you even hit the ground, I'll go just cut him off, Doc. He's good. I'll get all your dip teak. Oh, I have to put that away. So I still haven't put those things away. There's no room. I hope your AC breaks. Why? Because I want you to suffer. I would just move out. Remember when your AC broke for like 10 minutes and you went to a hotel? Yeah. I, it, was, it was 92 degrees in my house. They're putting out warnings for fucking like you have to shut off your power like or like power down at like certain hours of the day because they're afraid it's going to put a stress on the grid. Fix the grid. It's 95 degrees out. We're in Manhattan. Right. power down anyway. the shit. Thank God I have my NY City blinds. <laughs> because I shut them, ah, my, I, I shut them via my app because I don't want the sunshine ble beaming in on my on my yeah, on my, keep on my, cool. my house, so it keeps it cool. And then so when I get home, it's like not crazy hot. And then I um yeah, you know, I get home. I don't. I sit in a dark room for most nights and days, and just a, a cold dark room. Like I would thrive in solitary confinement in a basement. You were in solitary. I feel like for a while, self imposed. That little well, hole, that hole in the wall in the Upper East Side <laughs> was, your, was, your, was your version of solitary. It was dark in there, yeah. What would be the crime you'd be put away for? Murder. Serving cunt. Serving cunt. I can't wait to just, we have, so we have next week off for the 4th of July. We're going to roll a couple interviews for you guys. I'm going out east great. for the 4th of July. Where are you going? Where are you going? Out east. O-A. Yeah. yeah O-E. Wh where? Darling. I have a party for um, Nylon Magazine at the Surf Lodge I'm going to. Oh, <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. That's uh, what day of the week is that? I don't actually know the part. I guess it's a Saturday, probably. Oh God damn! Saying. The fourth is on a Friday this week. Or oh, it is. Next Maybe week. it's on a Friday. I have no idea. I don't look next week. I don't That's look very fun. I will be on Martha's Vineyard. Oh, good. Ripping it up. That's Bringing where the JFK motorcycle, was of course. Bringing the motorcycle, huh? That's where JFK's body was killed. That's JFK Junior, RFK Junior, JFK Junior. One JFK of Junior, Carolyn Bassett. That's right. They had a beautiful place down in Tribeca. I will be there, and then I'm gonna go back to Mass. I think I'll probably like. You're driving a motorcycle to Martha. Yeah, I, I thought you wait. had to take a boat there. Yeah, you put on the boat. It's Whose big, boat? It's a big ass ferry. Steamship, Steamship Authority, dude. To the that um, and I'm gonna hang with um, Haley Sachs. Mrs. Dow, we'll be over there together. We do the first, they, they throw a fabulous 4th of July party What is on the spread for year. 4th of July in a, a, a Martha's Vineyard uh, place? Oh, it's, it, you would actually eat it up. I want to bring you one year. It's like, name, name it, they have Well, it. I'm assuming, I'm, I'm well, Always they have, a, they have a raw bar, they have a uh, bartender, they have a DJ, they have lobster, they have, you know, pasta, they have everything. It's fucking Corn. awesome. Corn, they have it all. It's gorgeous. And I'm also going to be hanging out at my brother's Alabama in-ground over the course of the 4th, which I'm really looking forward to. Just floating around in an above-ground pool. It's going to be fabulous. An above-ground pool. Yes. But it's built into the side of the hill, which I think is a little bit less trashy. Or is that more trashy? I don't understand how it's built inside of a hill. Is there, is like there, if is you're there a deck hill, around it? Yeah. So if like, you're in a hill, it's like cut into the side of the hill, kind of. I think that's better than just a freestanding... A freestanding above ground where you have to climb a ladder to go in it. That did I tell you tough. I had to? Did I tell you I had to do um, Annabelle Bronstein in um, Charleston? What's that? 
There was, I, you ever see the Sex and City episode where Sex, Samantha finds out there's a pool in the, at the Soho house and she doesn't have a membership, so she has to lie and pretend to be someone else to get into the house, Soho house? Soho house is that old? Yeah. Oh, I had no idea. I didn't watch Sex and the City. Oh, well, the, she, she had famously, her name was Annabelle Bronstein, and they found out that she was next to white, but I was, I, I was, there was a oh. private a private club at, um, in Charleston I went to. I'm not going to name names. What's it called, though? Just I off, forgot. Off camera. I don't even remember. Oh. But it's, um, something with a W. And um, I didn't have a membership, so I had to go and pretend I was someone else, me and my niece. So we were doing method acting in the car on the way they were pretending. We were like, okay. I was like, oh, that is such a Smith thing to do. I was like, that is such a Smith knows you have, girl. And whatever her last name was, <laughs> and we went there. And it's like, you know, I, was, I, had to sell, I had to sell it when I got there. And then was, every time I was afraid, like, they were going to sell security, like a, a, like a waitress or something coming up to the thing, I would swim into the middle of the they, pool. You were afraid you were going to get clocked on the way yeah, in? Yeah, so I, got under, I went into the water. Um, but yeah, Joey's underwater breathing with a straw <laughs> so he doesn't have to come up. That's fun. What day? So you went to the pool in South Carolina because your hotel. Now, I was at the Holiday Inn Express. Very, very beautiful. Were you the one that was circular? It was like a, like a big, was it like a, a round building? No. In the middle of the city? This was like, oh, I never even told everyone about my fucking nightmare at the Holiday Inn Express. A what lady, happened? A lady quit her shift in the middle of checking people Because she saw you coming? Because she saw me coming. <laughs> so it was a line of like probably 20 people trying to check in. They had to call a guy in. So I go hang out at the pool. I was like, great, I go hang out at the pool. It's a, it's noon. It's if anything should have self-checkout, it should be checking in at hotels. You should be able to just self-check in at a hotel. 100%. So they tell me to go hang out at the pool. I woke out to the pool at noon. It's a full-blown party, but there's no restaurant. There's no bar. People are walking around with their own bottles of booze, like vodka, things are Red Bull. It's noon. Smoking cigarettes by the pool. It was... I Ideal. love that. It was so fun. I mean, I would. But was there an ice pool. machine? Of course, it's the That's, holiday. I would like it then. So I would like it if there was enough. If there's ice, and I can have like you know my own chair. I feel like you you like the right I type of smoke, trash. And I can, can smoke real cigarettes. Yes. Out in the open, I think that's ideal for me. I feel like you can do a lot of the uppity places. Don't let you smoke cigarettes right laying in a chair. You have to I don't think anywhere around. lets you smoke cigarettes anymore. It's like right? grow up. You you can do the right level of trash, like trash with convenience. I feel like you're good. Absolutely. With. That's the way to do it. I met your um, sister, your elder sister. My eldest, my elder sister. For the sister. first time ever, Vinny. Yeah, she's Joey. No, it's stop. It's the exact same person. I can't even imagine just that. Just the attitude. It was just like the like the mannerisms. It's Joey to a heart to a T. That's crazy. I would never suspect. She that. lives there in South Carolina. Yeah, she was very sweet for coming out. She stayed out late. And she partied. Where's our next stop? Our next stop is in Buffalo, New York. Well, we're going for the flag football convention. Yeah. Should we play flag football? Oh, you know what else he made me do in Charleston? He calls me up. He's like, don't be mad. I was like, what's going on? Because I was like having a nightmare check in. He goes, I want to do a little dance when we go on the stage. I was like, <laughs> I was like, okay, I'll do a little dance. And I was like, what is it? He's like, it's the karma dance start to finish. So we walk out. In front of the crowd. Thousands of out screaming fans. Thousands of, of Bam Mafia in front of Charleston. And we're standing there like waiting, doing like a full-blown karma dance in front of the fucking thing. He, if he, if he said, no, it's three. If he said oh, three yeah. one more time, oh, I, I got into it. I got into it. I know it's one, two, three. Grab the string and pull it up. If anyone has video of that, text, DM it over to Don Chen's on Instagram. We can include it in this clip. That was, that was something. What else we got going on this week? What does Man Mafia have going on this week? Um, you're getting your fucking kit. You're going to the vet. You're getting your canines pulled. Yes. You're getting Joey's getting put down at the vet. <laughs> no, I think they just numb your face. I don't think I'm. Pretty, I, I didn't choose the put down method. The dental care. What back when I was on Obamacare, that dental care ripped. I know. Now Nana was on. Now Nana was on. <laughs> I was able to get a bridge and a crown. Believe it or not. <laughs> Now, now, Nana, now, Nana was on government health insurance for quite some time. I was. I was on. Um, yeah. Yeah. I didn't have a job for like eight years. So I had like. I did too. It was the greatest. Yeah. I used to. It was. Um, I was on health. For, I think it was health first. I had to go to a bad neighborhood <laughs> and pretend and, and I to show that I had no job and I had no source of income. And they said, how are you supporting yourself? I said, you know, through donations and things like that. <laughs> and health first. And then I had to sit in this hospital and it was it was in the sketchy part of the Bronx. And like and like tell the so and wait in like a line and sit in a folding chair and like tell us the, the, the sad story. You went to the Bronx, <laughs> and I got in, and then, you know my friend, my my shady friend I was on a job with, told me about it, and it was the best thing in my life. They covered everything. I, it was, I would go to the doctor like it was McDonald's drive-through. I go three times a day. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, 
I'm trying to think. Zero back, I had it when I was a, when I was like freelancing shit. It was the same thing. They covered it, everything. It was great. I had it when I was freelancing here. They got Obamacare. It's like through the government. Your yeah. girlfriend's a doctor. <laughs> she can't fix you up at home. She does sometimes. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. When life goes fast, it's important to take a moment to celebrate your wins and make adjustments for the rest of the year. Therapy can help you take stock of your progress and set achievable goals for the next six months. Uh, my, my pills have been working overtime, and so, yep. so is my, thera my therapist. Um, you know, no matter what stage you're in, I have, uh, you know... <laughs> Summertime, wintertime, <laughs> I got something for I got something for my therapist every day. I pop up a new, a, you know, you know, you know me. Yeah, you, well, um, you've switched therapists before because you didn't like with the lady. no with no problem because yeah. no, and they never had to find out about it. But you know what, you know, I got, we got a lot on our plate. We're doing two tours, and you know, sometimes just having that one hour a week where I can talk to my therapist, talk all my problems out, lay down in the dark because you don't have to do it. You can do it over the phone. You can do it. Um, anon, in person. It can be anon. Yeah, you could do it face to face on the thing, whatever you want to do. Um, but if you're thinking about giving uh, starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist in just a couple days, and then ther uh, you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Take a moment. Visit betterhelp.com slash out and about today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H E L P.com slash out and about. How is Brenna? She's great. We just went to I the I saw dog her. She went yesterday. viral this week. She did. <laughs> she said, she I goes, let's give it that hot tour. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's that's Vinny's girlfriend. And now she is sweeping the nation. There, there she is. I thought that was Paige from the, the, the office from the office over in um, oh, Chicago. See, wait, I kind of see that, Joey. <laughs> what the fuck is it doing? Stop. My, lip looks, my oh, lips are good there. Whoever's smoothing my skin in that clip, work, bitch. Look at that. Look at the lip. If I did that to my man, he would slap me. You know if I how many, spit at him? If you spit on him? <laughs> if I spit on him? And spit on I would that guy. I would get decked. <laughs> get decked by your boyfriend? You wouldn't like that? Oh, I'd love it. You little hawk to her? Do you, She's do, putting do, out do, merch. Agree, do you agree with her answer? I didn't, understand, I didn't even hear the question, but apparently <laughs> there's merch she's selling now. Yeah, it's how do you keep a man? Like what is her? Spit on his dick, she, that's the did, thing. Did no she shit. blow up socially, or is she just a, is she, is she remaining anonymous? She's viral AF. She's putting merch out. Hawk to a merch. I know, but what's her, what's her, it's, what's her Look name? Look at her face. <laughs> do we identify the, this queen? What's it say the LGBTQ crowd is in? Is See, that, gays would say, Is that Ronan, uh, what's her name? Gays say shit like that all the time, and they get no credit. Meanwhile, one one white girl says, "Who it. do you think is more popular?" The um, meet the hawk to a girl, her or the lady with the um, lemonade. Uh, I don't. I haven't seen no that Chick Fil A one. sauce. Oh yeah, I don't know. I think the Chick Fil A sauce because she had more time to let it rip. This girl just came out. What's her name then? It's right there. It's a Haley Welch. Oh, I'm sure Dad is proud. See, I didn't think that was really a big deal. Like, I didn't think that was something that would go viral. I think it's just like how southern she was, and like when she says "and spit on that thing" is what <laughs> I think makes it makes it funny. Yeah, yeah. She's a rising star. You know, I was a little disappointed with the lack of accents in South Carolina. Oh, I thought you were going to say the reflection in the mirror. <laughs> oh, now here we go. Now we're onto something. There's not really a lot of accents in South Carolina. I was expecting like Atlanta level twang. No, because I, I maybe a little bit. And like maybe in the countries, other countries, but South Carolina is... Um, it's all transplants. Trans it's, it's, it's a um, transcontinental, yeah, place. Are you doing anything for the Pride March or, or no? You're marching in the march? No, my, uh, it's the 29th. It's Will my, you ride on the back of my motorcycle with the lesbians? It's the day my mother died 10 years ago, and yeah. I'm going to an engagement party. You are? For who? My cousin. Damn. Everyone around you is getting married, girl. Oh, we do have to bid farewell to our good friend, Jake Marsh. Oh, where's he going? He's going to pursue a career in broadcasting. He's leaving part he's of my He's a great take. broadcaster. He's, oh, I think he's very talented. I think he's very He always dresses he smartly, wearing a suit, and I can see him doing having a great career doing that. I worked with him um, a couple on a couple months ago at that ESPN thing. He was uh, very he was, capable. He was... <laughs> that was very good. Well, that show's going down the hill fast. What's <laughs> part of my take? Yeah. Well, everyone's leaving. Yeah, damn. Damn. Are we about to God take damn. over their spot? Be the next sports podcast at Barstool Sports? I'd be a fucking 12th mic on that show. <laughs> How many mics are there? Three? Two? Two? <laughs> that yak is out of control. Is that, is that, there's like 50 people that work there now on the, on yeah. the yak. They did. The, you see the case race? Yeah. Who won? I didn't even watch Mark it. Titus had 21 I, beers. I only saw like Big Cat puking. I saw Che <laughs> freaking out From in the From 12 beers? No, he had 21 beers. That is wild. Well, you're puking because you can't physically fit all that liquid in you. Yeah. And also, I, I'd be fine with this if it was 
if, like we said, we talked about this earlier. If it, like, beer, no. And if, if it is beer, it has to be like ice, ice cold. They cool and it I, down. Cool it down. It needs to be like ice cold. I'm sure that could be arranged. Do you it, think? How do you think you would do you two in the for cases? beer in the case? Yeah, exactly we would what do, they do. I think we would do decently well. Like if we put our minds. To I don't it think beer. Race. I think beer is disgusting. I mean, I, I I get so full from it. Like if it's carbonated, that's the thing. I could do probably high noons. But like if you had to do beer, you, you could you beer. can drink beer. You just don't want it. There's things you can do. <laughs> um, I think I don't know if we would win, but I think we definitely we definitely wouldn't be last. Maybe coming second or third. Nana but how many Trish beers? How many nose beers can I have per per real beer? Honey, you go do what you gotta. You go do what <laughs> you gotta do. If it's a vodka cocaine race, old man and Trish will lap the competition. Now I don't know. That would be fun to do. They were all dressed up in little onesies and like tights and. Yeah, that was cute. I think Kate looked nice. Kate looked great. Beautiful gowns. Mom Beautiful was gowns. out drinking. Mom was out drinking. Um, KB was there and a singlet. I'm sure that was lovely for him. Oh, Judd Spider got in the little the, the balloon. little balloon. That reminded me of that James Brown meme where he comes up and he's like sweating, spider in the thing. That would be fun. Maybe we should go back to Chicago. Mm-mm. <laughs> I've done I've seen enough. Um I forgot you're out there for like a week for that commercial. Mm-hmm. A lot of traveling. A lot of traveling. Maybe. It's gonna be nice in the fall to kind of have a lull yes. in our travel because we're really going crazy here i know and my tour is just kicking off with snoopy so how many shows are you doing nine i i got nine when does I it just end? slightly overcommit. <laughs> when, does it, when does it end september oh so you're back to back to back to back so you're traveling literally every weekend oh yeah brutalitous brutal 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 well i got nine um go to nashvilletour.com we're in buffalo next so and, then sure Nashville, and, then, but, and then Nashville, and then Buffalo, Nashville, and then Boston, and then done. Boston. Yeah, Boston is sold out. We might add another show there if you guys want it. Let mm. us know. Other than that, I hope that everyone stays cool this week. Yeah, turn your ACs on. Don't go outside. The, what is it? The index warning is high. It's very high. It's a low air quality as well. I, I got burned yesterday. I did get sunburned. Can yesterday. I see? Oh, God. Like shoulders. Oh, hold on one second. I'm checking my Instacart. Oh, that's nice. Oh, you got uh, torched. Yeah. Bad. Do you shave your back? Yes. Have to. It's too much. Does Brennan do it for you? No. Like a pro wrestler? <laughs> no, but she would if I asked, for sure. But I don't ask her. I can you reach. Should, you should have Joey done. You can reach every ass angle of your back? Yeah, yeah. What a rush. My Instacart person found all of my items. <laughs> oh, God. Do you want to read them off? Oh, yeah, I'd be, I'd be honored. I was kind of interested in Vinny's hairy back. I'm sorry. I don't care. Were you turned on? No, not really. I, no, I don't want to read these. This is like the most boring shit you could possibly buy. No, I got some some bangers in there. <laughs> the chosen foods nonstick Vinny, av- avocado spray. Vinny, guess <laughs> guess one thing that's on this list. This is the most obscure <laughs> yeah, set of I, fucking I, I groceries. Wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to. This is like rhubarb. This isn't even rhubarb. food. I'm guessing rhubarb. Oh yeah, it is. All right, we have Kirkland Signature Organic Hemp Hearts. What? Okay. I'm recreating the viral air, air one salad this week on my show. Go raw sprouted organic pumpkin seeds with sea salt. 22 ounces. Oh, fuck me up. I love pumpkin seeds. Signature organic roasted pine nuts. I got pine nuts? You have two pounds of pine nuts? What? I didn't buy pine nuts. 34 (laughs) ounces. Third one down. Joey, this it finally comes out that he can't read. He just goes by picture. That's hummus. What is it? It says pine nuts. Pine nut hummus. (laughs) Pine nut hummus. No, no, no. I ordered okay, 10 gallons of hummus. <laughs> oven roasted turkey breast. That's regular. <laughs> that's so funny. Now, na- 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 <laughs> now, this is where we get, into the, we get into the mud, if you will. Now, Nana's got 36 rolls of single ply <laughs> Scott's oh, TP. Single, pl- single, single ply? ply. You poor motherfucker. Oh. The, it was, a, the it was, a, it was like the most expensive one they had offered. So I just pressed that one. You have 1,100 sheets of single ply toilet paper. How many dumps are you taking, dude? I have, a, I have seven bathrooms. Jesus, Rubbermaid brilliant plastic food storage That's containers. I'm about. Chose- They're free. They're B- B- BPA free. <laughs> Mama, chosen family. Uh, no, chosen food avocado oil spray. It's the best, ladies. You know what I'm talking about. I miss obsessions. <laughs> no one knows should what you're talking a, about. Should we do a quick obsessions before we leave? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, what are we obsessed with this week? Um, show my new fa- <gasps> obsession. Oh, go ahead. No, no, you go. My new obsession show is. Um, House of Dragon. 
I couldn't get. I didn't watch. I'm the like, original. I don't. I, I would never say, watch that's that. That's not you. I didn't watch the original one, so I couldn't watch the next one. You know what I am um, obsessed with? This show where this woman. It's on TikTok. It's a documentary about this woman who faked her own kidnapping and disappearance. It Ooh. might even be on Hulu. It was. I'm gonna look it up. TikTok or no? Hold on. Disappearance woman doc. It came out Thursday. Hold on. Sorry, Vinny. Oh. You know what I'm obsessed with for my show? It's called Perfect Wife, The Mysterious Disappearance of Sherry Panini. It's on Sherry Hulu. Panini? Sh I think it's called Sherry. Yeah, Sherry Panini. It's on Hulu. This woman, you remember probably probably like five or six years ago, this like tiny little white woman went missing and no one knew what was happening and everyone thought it was the husband. Spoiler alert, it wasn't. She ended up faking her own disappearance like they found her cell phone on the side of the road and like she ripped out her own hair and like it was insane and they go over it's i think it's only three episodes maybe like 40 minutes each and they go over everything that happened interviews to the family absolutely wild that and then one more i never watch this i'm embarrassed you can have my i don't have a show this week you don't all right i'm gonna this is joey's obsession then dynasty on apple tv i never watched a you know documentary. documentary. No, 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 no. So the no. 80s, the 80s show? No, 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 that's, oh. that is so funny. Close, but no. Dynasty, the Patriots 10-part series on Apple. It was too soon for me to watch. I started watching it yesterday. Obsessed. What's your next obsession? It's household product. This is your your speed. Household product is going to be my, my stain remover. I haven't talked about it a while, but I've used it three times this week, and I'm obsessed with it. It's the Miss Mouth's Messy Eater stain spray with the blue cap. You can get it on TikTok shop. You can get it on an Amazon. Uh, Miss Mouth's. Messy. The, you, you told me to get this, right? It's got a little polka I, dot I, I buy, it, it changes, it takes anything out. How many times are you getting stains on yourself, though? I feel like well, so, for instance, I had this blouse yeah. I bought. It's a oh. very nice blouse from um, Bloomingdale's. Sure. And I wore it to a party, and I had a self tanner on, obviously, and it was ivory, satin, and um, it went, it's, it bled, <laughs> uh, bled through. So I bring it to the dry cleaners across the street from me, which I saw a mouse at one time when they're closed at night. Um, oh, I woke up with a roach in my bed today, but go on. Oh, my God. Um, and he, and he gave it back it filthy, like the stains on it. Like you, you, you dry cleaned it, you didn't take any stains out at all. Like why just get it back to me and don't charge so you couldn't do anything. Why why, why iron it and give me the fucking, a, a fucking stained shirt back? Like what the fuck am I going to do with that? Just say, don't charge me for it and don't even try to clean it. So I ended up, so I took my stain remover and sprayed it on there and I'm just going to wash it in the washing machine. It comes out, I'm going back, I'm, start, I'm storing back in there and demand, I'm going to smash the register with a fucking bat. <laughs> and, with a and, bat. And, and just, and then, and then, and get my fucking money back and say this, look, and then show my mouth so my stain, deserve, my stain you spray. You have a washer dryer in your apartment. Don't be bringing your laundry to places. I wanted it dry cleaned. And oh. I, thought, I thought they were gonna get the stains off well for me. Anyway, that's my stain remover. My snack or obsession with my meal of the week. Um, my friends and I have been loving the, um, it's a simple rice, it's a simple dish. It's just white rice. Oh. A perfectly fried egg that I, I put in a ring mold and make this little ring. It's a perfect What's a egg. ring bowl? A ring mold. It's oh. just like oh, a, a ring it's mold. Just like a cookie Got it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, egg, and then I top it with all like little treats. I top it with toasted sesame, some scallions, um, a chili crisp, a um, a, a, a red um, chili cut up, some. No one some treats themselves no better than Joey. Some nori, stuff. a little nori in it, and you just, it's create your own adventure. It's just like you're in protein, and you're you know it's just filling and delicious. And I serve it in these little coconut bowls, and I feel like you know, it's just like a quick healthy thing. It's just it's simple as food. It's just eggs and rice, but but you know. <laughs> It's just been our, it's our go-to, like, you know, quick meal, and it's it's delicious. So that's my obsession for that. Also, snap, sugar snap peas dipped in um, Caesar dressing. Sugar it'll, snap it'll, peas dripped your, your in Your pussy will dressing. start popping. Really? It's Should delicious. I try it? Is it healthy? I mean, Caesar dressing is just all, like, fat, so no. That's fine, though. Um, you deserve it. And then, we have I, more. Guess, I guess fragrance, I mean, my, my candle of the month is my fig candles I got, a diptyque. Okay. And what else am I obsessed with right now? Oh, I'm obsessed with that chosen food spray. Olive oil spray for the air fryer. Olive oil spray for oh, no, the it's, air fryer. Oh, sorry, avocado oil spray. Avocado Chosen oil foods. Spray. That's what you're trying to spray in my drink because I'm allergic to it. I walk in and Joey's dumping avocado spray in my drink. Oh, you can't have avocado oil either? No, I can't have any of it, babe. I'm trying to think snack-wise. You know it's disgusting? Talk about other ends <gasps> of the spectrum. Which peanut I'm, butter filled pretzels. I'm allergic to peanut butter as well. Oh, my God. I have been going to – I've been very gluttonous lately. I went to – there's a bodega – in my neighborhood that makes a chicken quesadilla that deserves a fucking Michelin star. Oh, tell me about it. Where's it, what's, it what's is, called? It's right, I think it's called Greenwich Village Grocery. It's on Greenwich between 12th and 7th Avenue South. I'm a quesadilla, a Joey, 
It is. I had it. I was like, Flour or what corn? is this? Uh, corn. Corn tortilla? Corn tortilla. It, wait, which, what's, what's the difference? Which one's the soft one? They're both soft. Oh, so it's just white. I don't know what that it's is. It's probably flour. Flour. It is so good. Just classic chicken, cheese, peppers. They give you sour cream and this homemade salsa on the side. It is fucking phenomenal. And Will it's they like deliver here? Bucks. Probably, yeah. You got to Uber Eats it. It's like next. I walked in. I was like, this is the <gasps> most delicious thing I've ever had in my life. Fragrance. I don't have any. Home thing. I don't have any. That's your department. Um. Well, I'm obsessed. I guess my home thing that I'm obsessed with currently is my fucking air conditioner, which is on its last legs. It came with the apartment, and I'm like, I'm just waiting for that thing to die. Oh, you got to wait for a Labor Day sale, girl. What's that? Why? Because there's no other holiday. I mean, there's Fourth of July sale they'll have. I maybe. feel like you can't even get an AC in New York. What like, are you talking about? In the summer. Like, I remember Bro, I moved- I've done it thousands of times. Really? Yes. Yeah, go to mm-hmm. PC Richards. PC Richards and Sons. Um, uh, Ch- uh, Chapel Ronan. I'm obsessed with her. That's your lady. Your singing lady. Yeah. Non-binary. I do apologize. Well, I want to say I hope everyone stays cool. I hope everyone has a great week. We're almost on the 4th of July week. We have the week off. I hope you guys also um, get some time off and get outside to enjoy yourself. Summer is – you know it's a very morbid thing, which someone said? Count how many summers you have left in your life. That will motivate you to go out and do things. On one how many hand, summers do I have left? I got maybe 25 good ones and then maybe 10 not-so-great ones. Get out there. Enjoy yourself. Go to that. Go to that water park. Go to the beach. Uh, don't say that. Brenna always tries to go to water parks, and it really, I hate it. It's oh, disgusting. Shit. I am not it's mixing, the worst. mixing company like that. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's so gross. What's a water park in New Jersey? I don't know. She made me go to one. We went to Nashville, and she had us, while we were in Nashville, go to a water park around there, and it was the most disgusting place we've been to. Wild Water life. Kingdom? It was, <laughs> oh, it was horrifying. We were horrifying. Lake Park growing up. Water country? Ugh. No. No on water park. Dorney parks. Park. That's what it was. Dorney Park. That's in Pennsylvania. Yeah, that's what we used yeah, to go yeah. to. We used to go growing up. You no. wear a swim shirt? Disgusting. <laughs> oh, buddy. There's an indoor water park at the mall in Jersey City. Should we go? Yeah, they, you can. There's like you can get day beds and like hang out there. You can also go skiing there. They have you everything. Get a day bed at an indoor water park in New Jersey. Kim Kardashian was just there. Jesus, that is like trash, like you wouldn't believe. But if it's your if it's your prerogative, do it. We will see you guys on Friday. Everyone have a lovely week. Goodbye.